church. The girls. It's first going. day of CCD. Yep, first day of CCD. Wait right there for me. This is actually Dylan's school. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. They're in the same class. Because Emily is starting a year later. So they're, which is kind of good because they're actually going to have communion together in 2017. And is eating cannoli for breakfast because that was one of the desserts for breakfast just for today. Just for today. Emily was upset this morning. Emily was upset because she's in the first first grade line or class with Malia for CCD because it didn't start her last year. I had my communion in third grade, but apparently it's normally supposed to be second grade, but it kind of works out because I, I want them to do it together. So she like teared up because she saw her friends, all her second grade friends in the second grade class line and it felt so bad, but it's like, what can you do? So. I told her just be with your, be happier with your sister, and then they can have communion together and be one celebration, and then Dylan eventually. I am going to eat the strawberry. Yummy. What's your name? I told those times. Going to talk to the church. One up there. Whoa! I see nice that hat. Go ahead, go with your sisters on the hay. Go. Go with them. Emily! Bring your brother. Being cranky. There he goes. Dee, be careful. Step on it. Go, he wants to take a picture with that bee. You're smart. Look, we ran into our family friends. <laughs> By coincidence. And now they're running like crazy. <laughs> that picking pumpkins would be such a hard task like <laughs> there's so many to choose from but they don't know what to get my battery is dying there's 
tons of stuff over there. My battery is dying. I miss them. They did copper doodle do. I'm using Brian's phone. My phone's dying. It's 100%. Oh, there! <laughs> it's like every minute. I know. It's but like it's the only clock. one that does that. Bless you. Let's see? We have food and drinks. Everything costs something now. It's like a little kid's tractor, mini baby tractor. Just like pony rides down there, bouncy house. We already spent like freaking sixty dollars just to ride the hayride for all of us and their heavy freaking expensive pumpkins. <laughs> Alright, so we bought two packs of apple, 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 apple cider donuts, and what'd you get? What kind of ice cream? What's the rest of them? Okay. What'd you get? Do you chocolate? Yeah. Oh, Malia, Malia. Good? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh, oh. Going one more time on the hay. Oh. What do you call this, babe? A haystack? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Where are they? Yeah. And then we're going <coughs> to go home. Taking a video of this? Why? Yeah. She's she can see when she so says. Malia she can and Emma see. each FaceTiming with somebody different. She says she sees Paul. And pause. then they're showing each. They're all talking at the same time. Four of them. Lonnie, don't. <laughs> Why, Lonnie? Oh. Dylan. Oh. That is a loud nose blowing. I couldn't do that too. Well, because it hurt you before. And this one is all he ever does when he gets free time. I want to play Disney Infinity. Stop it! I want to play Disney Infinity. Stop it! <laughs> Disney Infinity while they're FaceTiming friends. Oh my gosh. Why did you say? Oh my goodness! What's going on here? You want me to open this, Emily? What's doing? Huh? What? Mommy, can I decorate a new pumpkin? Yeah. Can I look XOXO? Okay. Um, decorate. They wanted to decorate Wait, is it their open? planner. You have to their use planner. Your what does it say? Use their planner stuff to decorate their pumpkins. Good morning. Happy Monday. This is just some of the Halloween decor. I didn't bring up the other stuff. But this is their pumpkins they decorated last night. Malia's is a ninja. That's Emmeline's. That's Dylan's that he did with Brian. Washi tape goes a long way. They use washi tape and markers. So funny. Look at Emmeline's eyes. She'll probably be good at doing makeup one day. But, um, yeah, we didn't do the rest, so I gotta get the decorations. Bring them up so they can do it. I don't know when we're gonna get to do it, because every time... Well, maybe we can do it today because usually right after school we go straight to work so we don't have to go be there till 5 30 so maybe we'll do it today i'm just waiting for um my niece to get here so i'm gonna watch her today hey. emmy emmy come here emmy emmy where are you going she has this whole mat and she wants to sit on the hard floor. Emmy! I just snapped this. I went to get the mail while Emmy was napping. And freaking Jeannie, a little baba, sent me two gift cards to Chipotle. Like, and a sweet note. Seriously, I have like the best friends ever. Like, Thank you so much. This is like, I really didn't expect this. I'm so excited. I want to go now. I mentioned this in my favorites when I didn't post it yet. Caramel Mochiato. At home ice coffee makes up to six, eight ounce glasses.
on our way to work and dance and I got a little crazy. But um it's always a mad dash on Mondays. Usually well actually no. <coughs> Today was a mad dash Monday because usually we come straight home and it's the only day that I don't have to go straight from picking them up to go to work and dance. So technically we have like an hour and a half to kill at home to do homework and relax and for them to eat or for Emlyn to make sure homework's done and eat. Um, but since we went to Target, because I needed a bunch of groceries for the week so we and we didn't have time to go earlier because I was watching Emmy. So, um, yeah, so we went to Target and then had to come home. Emmeline was like simultaneously eating um, her after school snack while doing all of her homework and she finished all of her homework. Good job, Emmeline. Thanks. Um, yeah, she had a math, phonics, and like a reading assignment and she finished all of it like in 30 minutes. So. I have another assignment that I'm finishing later. Oh, it's not due tomorrow though. Right? Um, yeah, so yeah, it's good that for now Dylan and Malia are with they're with their dad. So oh I hate when there's a train here. Ugh. And it's gonna back up. No, I'm not gonna go the other way because by the time I turn around the train would be <sighs> anyway. Yeah, so now I usually want to leave before 5 because it's always traffic and it's now almost 5 because I need to be there by 5.30. Her class is at 5.30 and I work at 5.30. So, um, yeah. So I was so excited that Jeannie gave me that. I really didn't expect it. Thank you, Jeannie. Like, you made my day. Even hubby was like, oh, yay, we can go on a date for lunch. So that was really sweet. You didn't have to do that. And I'm just like lost for words because things like that, like you, you don't you don't ever expect and then when it when friends, you know, do things like that for you, it just it's just it really like hits here, you know? Like last week with Kat and her uh, edible arrangement and then now this week with the Chipotle, I mean Thank you. Oh, what else? Yeah, so... Emmeline, why are you not sitting back? Your seatbelt is on, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I'm getting like this cramp in my like lower left side. So I hope uh, it goes away. But anyway, yeah, I kind of have a headache, but uh, I don't really want to take anything for it. Oh, I got my, um, I showed you guys that um, caramel mochiato Starbucks. So Brian put some ice in my Shakeology cup since I can't drink a Shakeology while I'm pregnant, but put some of the caramel mochiato for me. So the ice will like dilute it a little bit. So it's not as caffeinated, but um, I need some caffeine because I was feeling sleepy. I kind of fell asleep with Emmy for like 15 minutes and then I had to wake up right away because I was cleaning. Oh, I wasn't blogging because I was cleaning in between well, while watching her. And then when she slept, I tried to clean the bathroom and then finished it after she left. Anyway, now the train's gone. I was just Snapchatting and I was saying, I haven't been blogging because it was raining for a few days after we got this. And look how huge that freaking moon roof is in the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Um, I'll probably show one of these the days this week before they pick it up, like about the features of the car. I usually like to show it after I've used the car because then I can really like talk about it because I'm just showing it. I don't really know what I'm talking about until I use it. So I'll do that later in the week, but. Actually, I should touch base on this because I know I had a few comments in my last few vlogs about why I have a new car every week. Technically, I don't have one every week. It's just sometimes, coincidentally, I'll have one two weeks in a row on an occasional month, like last month. But I usually review at least one car a month. It would be nice if it was more. When it is more, it is nice. 
um, for Drive Shop. It used to be Drive STI. They have a program for, um, you know, like lifestyle influencers on YouTube. And I have referred, I have referred quite a few of you to the program, but you have to be within um, the state or at least not too far away from where all of their offices are located throughout the U.S. So some of you asked me about that, but yeah, so and you have to have like a like a good amount of subscribers and um, they have to approve. If I do refer people, like they have to approve your channel and um, you have to be, you know, near one of their offices. So, I mean, if you guys have questions about that and you're a vlogger, um, just email me. That's the best way that I can give you more information. But it's been a really fun program to be part of. Um, yeah, and, I, and I've been loving like trying out all the cars because we're actually, we actually need another car. Um, granted, this kind of car we can't drive when the baby's born because this only fits five, but I wish I could try more like three row vehicles, but there's only so many. But it's nice to be able to try them, you know, just to give my feedback to the rest of you guys that have, that can fit five or less in your cars. dropping off the kids but I headed to the post office and then home. I didn't even eat yet. I'm so hungry but um I actually have to pick up Emmeline early from school because she has a follow-up appointment with the pediatric orthopedic doctor. Because if you guys knew from I think it was in the spring she broke her pinky so, um, so it's just a follow-up appointment, just like six, six months later appointment. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's a nice day though, but I'm starving. I'm starving. Early breakfast. <clears throat> I actually came home and I edited, finished editing my favorites video I'm saving now and I made on everything bagel. A uh, heart over hard egg with cheese and cooked ham, and then using my ice caramel macchiato. I made one for Brian too. He's getting ready. Emma Lynn is passed out. We had to pick her up um, early because she had that uh, pediatric orthopedic appointment for her pinky, and everything's good. It was perfect timing because now we made it to Dylan school like literally with three minutes to spare. And um, I'm gonna pick up Malia and go straight to work and dance till I think 7.30 or so. I'm feeling like lightheaded. I ate this morning like a late breakfast, but I don't know if it's the sun or what. I just drank some water, but it's a headache and I'm feeling a little lightheaded. So, the girls have team day today. Yesterday was pajama day and Dylan wanted to follow. They don't, the girls don't have, so they're wearing their dad's shirts and tied it with a, a hair tie, right? Not even. Emily, you're doing uh, the eye walk. Walk to school. Walk your kids to school day. It's five of them. Bye, Dad. Daddy and Malia. Malia and class. Bye, Mia. Breakfast. Same thing as yesterday. Brian cooked it today. Peekaboo. 
Peekaboo! I see you! <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Emmy! 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 Peekaboo! Emmy, peekaboo! Uh, peekaboo! Where's Emmy? Peekaboo! Oh, she's playing. Can you see her? Peekaboo! <laughs> peekaboo! You're just singing? No, you don't want to sing it. Oh my gosh. Babe. She's, she's my, gone. She's like, look, she used my shoulder. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Say, who says you can use my shoulder? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's so smart. You climbed on top of Tito Bryan just to climb up to me? Really? Mwah. That one doesn't work, it says Emily. You gotta go to the other ones. Okay, we just came from the dentist. They all got their balloons and prizes, and we got letter to go back to school. Okay, so we just got home. Brian just took out the car seats out of the uh, Mitsubishi Outlander, and uh, dropped off Malia and Dylan at school. But oh no, Emily and Dylan. But uh, Malia staying home. She has a doctor's appointment because she's not feeling good. But the trunk space on this is really good. There's a lot of space. I mean, granted, we didn't have to put cars, a uh, stroller back here, but um, I like the trunk space on this. And then, as you can see, everything is black on black for the sport. It's a nice size SUV. So Brian took out all of the car seats, um, and it's black leather. So obviously, this only fits. Us. So when we have the baby, we can't fit. I'll get my bag in a minute, Mia. Say hi, Mia. Are you feeling hi. okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rest. Mm -hmm. So look at it from far away. It's like a nice size SUV. It's not too big. Granted, it's not as big as our car, but it's a nice size and the fact that it's sport. I like the um I like the shape and stuff like that. But um these are the features. Yeah, so it just has all the basic things that the other cars that we've tried out. It has navigation, um, touchscreen. I'm holding socks because Emily left her socks in here. Um, it is four-wheel drive, which is great, but obviously um, it's not snowing here, so no purpose for that now. But, you know, overall, I like it. And then the trim. I like the trims of the car. Mia, yeah, did you like this car? Uh huh. Yeah? What yeah. do you like about it? I like about it, it's comfy. It's comfy, yeah. There was like a decent amount of space. I mean, this is how far Brian sits back, so it's kind of tight in there. But, um. But yeah, oh, my favorite part. No, my favorite part is this the sunroof. I showed that to you guys before, but that was my favorite part about driving this car was the... It's actually a moonroof. It's like, takes up almost the full length of the car. 
So, yeah. Overall, I feel like this is a great, you know, car to have uh, for family. Especially if you need four-wheel drive. Yeah, I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to go inside. Yeah, that's the last look at the car. And it also has the, uh, the keyless um, remote. Only thing is it doesn't have the button where it like automatically opens the trunk. I'm noticing like not not all the cars have that, but I like that feature um, if they did have it. So I was upstairs getting ready and I was actually snapping like myself doing my makeup. Um, I felt like doing really dark today, but I'm um, wearing the first outfit. Um, it's actually these jeans that are from the maternity line that I'm going to do the video and a giveaway for. So yeah, let's see how this works. I have to do one two three four four changes finish filming um no i'm hot but um yeah so i did the lookbook i did my boxy charm unboxing which is like here and then i just unboxing this package from christine violet check one four three oh my god i love everything i just shared it on snap thank you thank you thank you thank you so much christine the kids are gonna be so excited too and then i finally am taking a picture of all these sock it to me socks family socks Brian's, the girls, me, and Dylan's socks. It's hard to look at it, but um, these are Dylan's. I think I showed this. And yeah, mine, the girls, and Brian's. I don't know if Brian's gonna wear them though, but I know the rest of us definitely will. I could even use his. Happy Friday. Come on, girls. Today is hat day. They're each wearing a hat. Hat, Mia. She looks like mommy, Emmeline. <laughs> Both of them. Let's see your four pings. Your new needle you using? I'm not joking. Yo, you didn't hear about that thing in New Jersey? No. What's that? They were giving flu shots. A lady used the same needle with 12 patients. Who would do such a thing? Was she a real nurse? I asked the lady, is oh, new needle? Was she offended? You asked her that? Uh, no. This would be supposed to. Chipotle date on Jeannie. She gave me these gift cards. So we're finally using them. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks, Jeannie, for our love. Our early lunch date. Okay, so after Chipotle, we had to rush back because I needed to finish my blog post and add Betsy's link for our maternity lookbook giveaway. So if you didn't see this yet, I'm sure you're, this is, well, by the time this vlog is up, this will already be an old video. It's like never ending. I feel like what, the minute I get home, I do stuff and then it's time to leave again so I was just vlogging that clip and then Brian was calling me because I didn't realize it was almost three so we're picking up Dylan but um, I'll probably update you guys in another clip uh, about uh, the status with Brian but um, everything went well with the oncologist Brian had to get some blood work and um, we should know the results for that next week but um, I'll talk more about that later but I just wanted to, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging there because I did like blog that we were at the doctor and then the hospital for the blood work, which is right across the street. But um, yeah, everything went well, thankfully. So yeah, the kids, it was fire prevention week. So I think the fire truck came to Dylan's school today. And then yesterday they came to Emily and Malia's, but Malia missed it because she was absent. They kept her home after the dentist, but um, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to work now. Only the girls have class, so I don't know if Brian is bringing us there and hanging around. Or he's going to go home with Dylan and I'm just going to go with the girls. So, we'll see. Yeah. What size can you give to Bob? No, I, I'm going to give them like a 5x7. Which one is that? The one that's half the size. Emelyn. Yeah, that's the one that you It's yeah, in your bag, Dylan. Pretty. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's about 8.30. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I I went to sleep early last night. Early as in like, I don't know, 12, 11, before 12. And then I woke up at 2.15 to check on Malia and she felt warm, but luckily she didn't have a fever. But um, yeah. And then I couldn't fall asleep till like 5.30 or 6, I don't even remember. So then my alarm woke me up at like before 8 or 7.50, something like that. And I had to get ready, but I'm not, I'm actually not going to work right now. Normally on a Saturday, we go to work, I go to work. I have to be there at 9, so I wake up the kids as if we're going to school. So they're lucky because they're sleeping in for a little bit. So the schedule, cha their schedule changed a little bit, so then my schedule ended up changing. So I don't have to be there um, early anymore, and Malia doesn't have classes Saturday anymore, just the other two. So technically I can go in now at 11.30 instead of 9, so somebody will be there to open up you know instead of me so yeah it's good because it'll be like the only day that they can really sleep in because Sundays they have C the girls have CCD well, they get to sleep a little bit later but um anyway so right now after that long spiel um, I'm headed to go to Westfield again to have early breakfast and they're having it earlier because of me and my schedule um, for Minette's birthday learn with Minette because we didn't get to celebrate her birthday so me her Claire and uh, Jamie are meeting up um, at a different spot than we ate at for Claire's uh, birthday brunch um, but also but in the same town so yeah so we're gonna have breakfast and then I gotta leave at least by 10 30 at the latest so I can get back home and get Dylan pick up Dylan and Emily and go to work be at work by 11 30 so um, yeah, I'm just probably going to call. Dylan actually woke up while I was doing my makeup, so um, he's awake in the bed um, watching TV and stuff. So I'm going to call Brian to let them get dressed up by the time, so that by the time I get there, I just pick them up and then we leave again. So we're here going to Vicky's diner. Say hi, Minette! It's weird vlogging from my phone because I don't have my camera anymore. Hi, so now, hi. Where'd you get that from? Hi! And look who else is here. Hi. I wonder what it is. We all gave her Alex and Annie. Alex and Annie. Oh, really? I love it summer. And it's a teacher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I wonder what it is. Mary Kay. If you need Mary Kay, see my friend Jamie. Link down below. Ooh, nice. Is this the one that you need? Um, Friendship one. I should do What's in there? Open the box first. In this first? Yeah. I wonder what it is. Yeah! Oh, I like that color. Is this purple or pink? I don't know. <laughs> Iridescent. It looked pink in the oh store. See your stock, Matt. Look at it. I didn't even take off the tag in this one. So, the sausage. So, I got corned meat hash with eggs and I wanted potatoes. Where's my bread? Oh, where's my bread? Oh, look at you. Where's, where's my bread? bread? You know, I want my bread. Out last. And everybody, ooh, oh, yeah. bread. See, she heard yeah. This is for everybody. Ooh, that looks okay. good. Yeah. She was pregnant, so like five seconds ago, she's like, where's my bread? You didn't come in, I swear. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. You called me out. I'm on my way home now to pick up Dylan and Emily, and I gotta rush back right out to drive to work. But I had a nice time celebrating Minette's birthday, late belated birthday, um, breakfast. So... They actually went shopping around the area because they have such nice, cute shops there, but I couldn't stay. 
And I saw they have a Carlos Bakery, and I've never been to Carlos Bakery. They just opened a new one there, which is closer to me. Um, but I'll have to try that next time. I'm so full. Oh, I actually should just vlog really quick an update of Brian because I know that this is my Saturday footage and um, this will be like the last day for my for this weekly vlog. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so um, basically uh, we were given a few options either to do surveillance um, or to do chemo like a round or two or radiation so based on all of without like going into too much detail because it's all these medical terms um, without going into too much detail um, basically the doctor's main suggestion or recommendation was to do surveillance which is what we chose to do and basically that means um, in three months and every three months he has to go see the oncologist and you know have blood work and test his markers and all that stuff and then um, also every instead of every three months for cat scans the doctor suggested every six months so it kind of limits his exposure um, being that he's still young so then basically three months from now we'll go back to the oncologist and six months from now we'll go back for more um, scans again cat scans to check everything so God willing um, everything stays the same and nothing spreads and um, he'll be fine and hopefully he won't ever need chemo or radiation but if in the event that he does um, the doctor says that with surveillance that it would be it'll be treatable if he was to need it so you know as long as we're you know keeping up with the appointments and checking in on everything his blood works and everything um, you know, if and ever anything showed up, he can easily get treated. So, uh, I guess his thing is that Brian's still young and we're just, she's just trying to limit, um, cause there are effects of it. I mean, he was saying, I asked him, you know, what are the effects of chemo? I mean, I know that obviously it will help, you know, get rid of the cancer, but, um, and it, it could also be a preventative measure for us if we did it now. Um, to prevent it from getting you know you know spreading or anything like that but um, you know he's saying like you know that, that does affect the bone marrow and this and that and all this you know medical terms and so that's why he was suggest suggesting to do surveillance so um, we're gonna go with that and you know see him again in three months he actually ordered for some blood work um, just to make sure his other markers are are low and are normal because if they were to be high then he would definitely have to do chemo now um, so it's just been a big blessing it was just another set of you know good news that he doesn't have to go through that you know right now like that we we're, it, we could do it as a preventative measure but we don't have to it's not it's early enough of a stage that we don't have to, that that is not, you know, that, that we have the option to do surveillance. So, yeah, so that's where we're at with that. And, um, you know, I just, I feel like, you know, the prayers from everybody have been a major factor in why, you know, after surgery, you know, it's like good news after good news. So... Yeah, so it's just a matter of Brian just like, you know, fully healing. I mean, he's healed, but he still, you know, has some soreness. So he, but overall, he's okay. I mean, he has a little bit of cabin fever being home and stuff like that. But hopefully he'll be okay. And then he'll be back to work and everything like that. And everything will be back to normal. And, you know, a good thing, more good things. I believe that more good things will come here on out, you know. With the holidays coming up and then the baby soon after i mean there's so much more blessings and i know this whole experience okay the vlog is long now this whole experience has made our family so much stronger like it was just a difficult time in initially that first two weeks since his diagnosis and the surgery and the post-surgery and then waiting to see what was going to happen next but like being that it is three weeks out or it'll be a month next week since 
his diagnosis with today's date. Yeah, it'll be almost a month since he was diagnosed. Um, so much has happened so quickly, but in a good way. And it, and I I feel so much stronger in my mind and my heart going through this. You know, um, I feel like you know we can face anything that comes our way as a family. So you know, I know this is all for a reason, and and I know that everything will be fine. And and there's just more good things to come here now. That's just. The mindset I'm just trying to maintain and to just keep praying and have faith and I just can't thank all of you enough for all of your support so yeah that's where we're at it's good good news <laughs> Every kind of spam. I, I don't. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think they're gonna like it. Just get the regular one, the light one. So we went to dance, and Daddy and Olia hung out, and uh, they picked us up. We went to Asia, and now they've been asking to do this to finish the decorations for the past couple of weeks. But during the week, we are always at dance, and we get home late. Good job, Amelyn. Yes, I'm vlogging you. And well, some of our decorations broke, so <coughs> this is all we, we have left what? without having Did to buy more. Jinwoo's door goodies. Um, oh, she just be, kicked um, really hard. Because um, she heard me talk about this. Them. Candy. Yeah. Good job decorating. Show me what you got from Glossy. Yeah. Glossy so check. this is what we yeah. got. So, these are just bracelets that we're going to use. Okay, Charms. so... Charms. A shirt and what's that other thing? A bag? A purse and... And let me see the charms. Ooh, wait for me! What is this charm? Oh, a cupcake. Oh, yeah. You're going to put it and show the bracelet. You're going to add it to the... Just wait for you! Add it to the bracelet. They've been getting one charm a month, right? What is this, Mommy? Spring 2016. Are you enjoying that? <laughs> Look at all the steam. This help you make take good shit. <laughs> Here is That's what it is. Too bad. Yeah, digestive system clear. <laughs> Very clear. We <laughs> 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 all these snacks, bless you. We got all these snacks, bless you. Who picked this? Emily picked this. Maria picked this. I picked this. And Dylan picked peanuts, but video game addicts over there. Meanwhile, Emily is. What are you doing? Eating these Corn nuts peanuts. And peanuts. I'm watching video. Ooh, I want to watch that. Not a video game person. Oh, it looks huge. Uh, it's a good day. Uh, now home to the bubbles with our dessert tweaker.